Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Subsistence Land. Look, 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 look at this, look at this, it's glorious. It is an absolutely beautiful day. Uh, before we get on with today's activities, oh look, a bear and a wolf. Um, there's a couple of things that I need to take care of. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I forgot to do this, uh, water and fertilize this one. So we're going to take care of that. And we're going to take care of the animals too. So, I was actually planning on doing the animals. This I legit uh, missed. Like, I didn't, I thought I had uh, gotten all of the different plant beds. But apparently I missed one. But the rest of them, they're in, yeah, they're okay shape. Oh, look at you, you're kind of, oh no you're not, okay. Uh, you're good and you're good. Okay, so we don't have to worry about all that for now. And, oh, I haven't even put away the uh, material, <laughs> the, the bear. <laughs> um, the other thing we want to do is take care of, yeah, we're burning these. That's fine. I want to take care of the animals. There was a bunch of stuff. Okay, so here's, the, all right, hang on. We're just pausing time because time is burning. And I need to explain, like, get this out before, well, without burning the rest of the daytime. All right, now. We, I don't know if you've noticed, but we've gone into the next day quite a bit. That's because I ran out of time. I had so many things I needed to do in the last one, and I forgot to... Well, I didn't forget, but I, I needed to save some stuff for today. We have to take care of the animals. I'm My guess is that they're going to be at around 20 to 25% water and food. And the reason why I'm... This is based on the, the, the history. The reason why I screwed up the last time is because I didn't top up their water. Their food was okay, their water sucked. <laughs> but this time I made sure they should be fine, but that doesn't mean that they'll be fine by the end of the day. So we gotta take care of them. So that is in the plan. All right, so what is the plan? We are going after the uh, the base up on the hill. We're going after Alpha. Uh, I, th I believe I have some Molotovs on me. I think, uh, I think we're almost ready to go. Uh, the other thing I just realized I need to do is maybe top up the the, the the fires so they don't go out so let's get a few of these things done I think I only did I only light one fire I must have only lit one that's okay uh, let's grab you let's uh, do this let's grab that we got maybe some a view and we could put that in there and put the meat away there we go actually we could even eat that it's, it's raw but you know it's tasty do 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 That goes in here. That goes in here. We're going to cook you because uh, we need you. A lot of you. Much, much of you. Okay. Sandstone. <laughs> we definitely need to keep up with sandstone. I'm going to stop now because it's pretty bad. Should I take a lockpick with me? Why not? Who doesn't go on a raid with a lockpick? Oh, yeah. I was going to do the, uh... I was going to do you. And then we're just going to top this bad boy up. Bonka. Oh, and you're done, too. Sweet. Put you away. And we're almost ready to go. Do, 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 do. Let's see, two, one of a couple of you, we can maybe grab some carrots because we've got a bunch of them. And this time, of course, we're going to remember to give them water. Uh, yeah, four. That sounds about right. All right, guys, let's see what you're at. Yep, there you go, like 20 to 20 to 20. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, you know. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Actually, no, that that's okay. Is that going to fill you up? Yes, it is. 103. Oh, you, that's very good job, guys. You did excellent. Uh, let's do that. We'll grab you. We're going to probably need to get you more food. Actually, we could just, here, I've got a bunch of that. There we go. Mission accomplished. Do, 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 do. And, oh, and let's get some water and get these uh, cooking. Oh, no, no, wrong thing. Because we gotta go. Time is burning. They, there's uh, we we don't want to keep we don't want to keep the uh, the neighbors um, you know waiting. They they're they're expecting us. Well, are they expecting us? No, no, they're not. But that's okay. Uh, no one expects. Oh no, <laughs> I was gonna say the Spanish Inquisition, but that doesn't make sense in this particular case because. Uh, uh, neither am I Spanish, nor am I a member of the Inquisition. 
Okay. What are we dealing with here? What is that? Is that a cougar? Do I want a cougar? Ah, the cougar's fine where it is. Yeah, yeah it's not going to be in the way. I, I often kind of get a bit... Cons you know what? No. What are we dealing with? 230? 230 measly hit points? Ha ha ha! Come here! Thank goodness I had two shells in that shotgun, because I didn't check. Oh, hey, bear. Oh, <laughs> there's another deer. Why don't you go go uh, pick on that deer over there, bear? Seriously. I killed the last one that did that. Got a bit of you. Oh, all right, fine. Hey, bud. That's for that's to keep you from killing that nice deer over there. We're preemptively um, maintaining the situation. There we go. You know, I never noticed that uh, there's only four rounds in here. Okay, and only five in here. All right, I believe it is time for action. Let's go. Do 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 do. Oh, hey. Um, yeah, I've got a bunch of extra stuff on me now, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, we have the requisite bloody hands. That's really what matters. Oh, look, there's, there's one of them right there. Okay, okay, let's see. What are we doing? We got a wolf. Oh, I missed. Uh-oh. Don't reload right now. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> I don't now see. I might use that rock over there, and the uh, that wolf is kind of uh, getting in the way. Do I need an excuse to kill all these animals? No, I don't. But um, still, it makes sense. Look at him, just hanging out there, thinking he's all invincible. Oh, he's sitting on the job. Oh, we've got to see if we can pull this off. Hey, bud. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, medicinal plant. Anybody else? There, oh! Oh no, this is... No, we can't. Oh, I missed. Oh, is, what's he doing? What? He's not doing anything. Oh, that just felt wrong. Do you think I can get, hit the claymore from here? I can. <laughs> oh, hey, his little bag fell out of the base. Oh, and there's probably this guy over here. I got to get his. Uh... Oh, dude, I know you were just hanging out next to your fire and then along comes me. That did bad things to you, and now I've, I've just made your life, well, I guess, over. Is there anybody else? Man, I don't know what's going on in there, but it's uh, sounding a bit aggressive. Okay, let's go and, um... Well, let's see. How are we going to do this again? Can we see? Bear. I want to see what's going on. I guess not. All right, that's fine. I, it sounds like they're performing some sort of uh, ritual in there that I don't know anything about, but that's okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, we're going to do one of those, and then we're going to let's see. Oh, hey, look at we got we got a bit of the, this here, and all right, and we'll put you away because you know. Do 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 do. Now there should be a dude that's going to spawn in when uh, when when the door breaks and there he is are you gonna take damage yep he's taking damage oh he backed off okay. oh hey <laughs> he's there <laughs> oh change your arrow type <laughs> oh he's up there now oh hey I don't know what you were doing just now but it didn't work okay that's a little weird This, uh, this raid's just a little odd, and I'm not going to lie, I'm... Oh, he doesn't... These guys don't have a workbench. I, I... Wait a minute. Is that true? I don't think they do have a workbench. 
Yeah, that's uh, so. Yeah, when I said I was going to make use of their workbench, that didn't make sense in the in this particular context. So, that's all right. Here, um, oh good, their lights are on. We're going to leave them on because uh, we don't have any need for it. And apparently, they're cooking something that doesn't exist. That's kind of cool. You know, that's that's fine. Oh, we have a test that we need to run. Am I going to pop if I do this? Oh yeah, I am. Something fierce. Um, let us, uh, make berry water. And let us, well, I don't think, hmm, glass panel, glass panel. How fortuitous. Look at how that worked out. Okay, so we've, um, we've taken care, oh, goodness. Oh, we, okay. Now, are we going to get more out of that? Five, three, two, one. No, we're not going to get any more out of it. So there is a certain, like, ratio, this number, uh, a certain amount of this number of fat, uh, th of this value, is going to, uh, is it'll result in um, a biofuel being made. So if, you ha if there's less than that number when the last one comes out, then it'll get wasted. So that is something that is a thing. And so somebody, there was somebody talking about how if you put in, I think it's 20 fat, you get 50 biofuel out. I think, okay, hang on. I'm starting to get distracted. Let's just make sure that we've got everything cleared you out. We've got you. You're fine. You know what? Oh, you're, you've, you've gone away. You're, you're, well, you're not really fine. You're just sort of odd. And I think that's it. I think we're done. Let's head back. Boom, ba -dum, boom. So anyways, they were talking about the, uh, how if you put, um, 20 fat into the into a, a stove wood stove uh you will get 50 biofuel out now the technically the way it, oh what is that that is electrical components you know i wouldn't mind some electrical components uh we could eat maybe all of this this kelp's not really a big problem as far as uh, supplies concerned i missed that again how clumsy uh, anyways, so yeah, there's a ratio, a certain amount of, well, look at you. I'd love to pick you up, but you would just get sprayed all over the place. We don't need you, but we want you. Okay, let's go. Let's get back to the base because uh, I have way too much stuff on me. Maybe we could go and see if we could do a quick uh, search for a, a locked crate. That might be uh, useful. And we're taking care of this, this, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. We've, we've taken care of the one cougar. Um, maybe we'll come back this way and swing up towards the mountain and look around and see if we can spot... Uh... I see you taunting me, medicinal plant, but you know that I can't pick you up because I don't have inventory space. Uh, but we can go and see if we can spot a, a locked crate up there. Uh, so anyways, uh, yeah, we could do a little bit of an experiment. We, we just so happen to have two... Uh, two wood stoves. Now, uh, technically, oh, the, I guess that's zero, but is it zero? And that's really the kind of the question. Uh, so what we'll do is we're going to save up a little bit of, of uh, fat and we're going to do some over the longer term. We're going to do a bit of uh, testing uh, of that whole 20 equals 50 type thing and uh, go from there. And it, uh, by the way, I'm not saying it doesn't. Oh, Okay, we're gonna have to put away stuff first. I was gonna do some swapping, but I, my inventory is too tight for that. Okay, you just get recycled. Actually, you're right there. And then what do we have? Uh, that and uh, you, you, not any of you. Wait a minute. Uh, you. Okay, uh, that. Cloth. Uh, that, that. Uh, Maybe even you, you could go in there. All right, you know what? I need to fix this. So this all goes in the weapons crate. This is gonna go somewhere else. This goes into the ore crate. That goes in the ore crate, ore crate. This goes down with plants. Um, plant, plant, plant. This goes with that. Uh, this goes into the ore crate. You go into the other thing. This one goes into the other one. That one goes, uh, we can even put you in there. No, we'll put you with you. Okay. Bump, 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 bump. And, uh, bump, bump. Uh, 
Boom, boom, boom. There we go. We've got four of these. That's really... Every time I see that, it just it makes me a little bit happy. Okay. There we go. So, yeah, we're going to do, uh, in the longer term, we're going to do some experimentation with the... Uh, what am I doing? Right. Not that. Man, I'm just all over the place because I'm just sort of trying to get a bunch of stuff done. Uh, that goes there. And then finally, we have uh, spare inventory space so we can do the old swap We're going to burn those up for mass because we don't really care about them. And uh, put this away. All right, let's go see if we can find a lock crate and then I can... When I'm out looting and stuff, I don't have to think about what I'm doing. I can be a bit more coherent. Um... Right, so, uh, in the conversion of fat into biofuel, there's a specific ratio. Each unit of fat will equal a certain number of units in that 0 to 1,000 uh, range in the wood stove, right? And each number of units in the wood stove of that 0 to 1,000, each, each certain amount of that, will result in a biofuel being uh, output. And so... You, there, there is, it, it is pretty, I have always thought it was fairly linear, but the implication of what was, what was being said when they said, well, if you put 20 fat in, you'll get 50 biofuel out. That was the, the implication of that is that there's a, it, it gives you a slight bonus as far as the amount of stuff that you get back, the investment, how much you put in versus what you get out. It's possible that what can happen is because of those numbers, because it converts fat into a certain number of units, and then it converts a certain number of units into a certain amount of um, biofuel, right? Um, it is possible that there's some way that, like, if you make all those numbers line up a little bit better, you can get a bit of efficiency out of it through that lineup, through lining those numbers up. Uh, if you don't meet the uh, exact ratios, for example, then you can lose you can lose a bit of the uh, lose a bit of um, uh, a, you, you basically okay. Let's say it was five to one, right? For uh, one fat equals five of those uh, units, uh, five out of a thousand, and then let's say it was seven to one. Uh, it putting the like those units in the thing making biofuel well <clears throat> so if you put in enough to make the five then you're not going to get a biofuel out of it so you kind of kind of almost consider that to be zero but if you put another bio uh, fat if you put another fat in then it'll put another five units in so then you'll go over the seven and you'll get one fat out but you won't get you won't get two fat out you're now going to have the you, you see what I'm saying? It, it's if you line everything up correctly, the numbers. If you make it sure that everything's divisible by the units, that appropriate units, um, then you should get some efficiency out of that. But I'm not sure how accurate that is. Well, so we're going to find out. We're going to test for that. That sounds a bit weird, but oh, is that going to be enough? Yep, it is. I really should check these things before I actually, you know, go and try and kill animals. I should, but I don't. It's okay. When was the last time I washed my hands? Okay, that was my footsteps. I should probably go do that before I get infected. That's it, chicken. I'm infected. You better run for your life. Oh no, infected hunter. So, yeah, we're going to figure that out. Um, or at least not really figure it out. I don't think, you know, we're just going to do a little testing just to see. And uh, get some uh, real-world evaluation of the amount of fat that uh, is required to produce uh, certain amounts of biofuel. There are numbers. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hey! Hi! One day they're going to learn not to do that. Oh, that's not the right tool for the job. Uh, but apparently today is not that day. I suspect that tomorrow and all the days after that are also not that day. But that's okay. I've got iron coming in, so I'm happy. Do -do -do -do. 
Did I just hear something else? Hmm. All right. So what we need to do is maybe poke around a little more, see if we can spot ourselves a locked crate, which I have not been paying it enough attention on. I said I was coming over to your find a locked crate, and I just basically been running around on autopilot looting, which is fun, don't get me wrong, but was not what I said I was going to do. Now, I don't think there was anything up there, which is a little unusual. Usually there is. But often there's something over in this direction. Hey, chicken. So let's see if we can uh, see if we can what, if we can spot anything. Right through here usually is a hot spot for uh, lock crates. But maybe not today. It's actually not a hot spot for anything. I don't know if if you're seeing this, but there's not really much here. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. What a pretty base. We really have to do go but we have to do. We do have to go back over there and check it out and uh you know, oh look, it's one of its denizens out strolling around. Okay, we're running out of daylight. Let's um all right, that's a brown bear. Let's go get him. Uh Yeah, we're going to we're cheating. We're just going to use the shotgun. Yo. Fuzzy. Hey. Two shells, yep. Again, not the right time to check for that. Hey, come here. <laughs> How much fat are you going to have, level one wolf? Not enough. Hey, two. You know what? That's not bad. I, I I gave that wolf a hard time, and that was not fair. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to swing up through the uh, the forest here and grab some wood because we are really short on, on logs at the moment. And uh, so, yeah, we'll do this, and we'll head back. Um, are we going to have a lot of... What, what, oh, it's a full moon. I think we might have enough light that I'm not even going to have to worry about my lighting situation. What's that? There's something kicking up dust over there. Is that a bear or a wolf? I think it's a bear. Oh, look at the glorious lighting. Oh. Hey, chicken. What do you think, eh? Look at the way the... Hey, chicken. What do you, what do you think of the way the, 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 the moonlight glints off this sharp axe? Poor chicken. Do, 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 do. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about our, our chicken and rabbit uh, starving to death because they should be good for a couple of days at least. It's about two and a bit days is what they... Uh... Yeah, that's a level three. Ooh. Level three black wolf. Not They're kind of substandard when it comes to... Uh, fat content, but we're not going to get picky. Okay. That's it, rabbit. You better run. You saw the glint on the, on the, on the axe, did you? Oh, it's, oh, it's still glinting. Look at that. Do, 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 do. How much fat do we have? 13? Yeah, let's, um, let's see if we can gather a whole bunch of fat and then do some, some testing. That's the thing. We're going to need a... Hey, and you know what the bonus is? After uh, the, all this testing, we get biofuel. Ah, yeah. So that's pretty glorious. I like that. It, is there any... Um, speaking of glinting, are there any uh, locked crates glinting in the moonlight? kind of hard to see isn't it all right let's get out of this shade i guess it's shade is it shade from the moon i mean technically shade is from any light source right and the moon is the reflection of the sun's light so yeah okay we're gonna call it shade we'll declare that to be accurate 
do 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 Just looking to see if there's any uh lock crates that have escaped my my vision. They have not. Oh, hey, tomorrow. Tomorrow's an exciting day. That's right. We're going to get revenge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have to figure... But that, that was the other thing that we wanted to determine. Um, what is the... What is the uh, current threat? Uh, is it the bridge base or is it the new cliffside base? I think it should be the cliffside base. Because uh, it is most... Um, I think at this point... While the the bridge is is by the way is is I think it's gorgeous, uh, if I don't say so myself. Oh, this is look at this. Okay, I gotta I gotta. Can we can we do a? Oh, where's the glint? I need glinting. Ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. That, that's so cool. I love it. Um. Yeah, while I do think the uh, the bridge base is absolutely stunning, okay, uh, it it uh, you know the uh, is it the is it the is it more dangerous quote unquote? And by dangerous, so when I mention that, what I'm talking about is that the game doesn't uh, revenge doesn't go against your primary base; it goes against the base that's determined to be the most the biggest threat. Um, so you can get a primary base that is one base, but you get revenge will be uh, revenge will go against the other base, the one that is the you know. So I've been working all uh, very hard trying to make this new base the the bigger threat, so that I get um, it's both the primary and the revenge base, the base that receives revenge attacks. And you know, it just we haven't had a lot of luck with that. Is that a, that? I think that's a. Uh, uh, rogue base, a uh, rogue camp over there. How are we doing for wood? Why am I not seeing it? 63. Okay. Not bad. 63 will uh, do for the short term. Do, 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 do. We'll get this big tree here and then we'll head to home. Check out some of the scenery. There's, hang on, there it is, there it is. There's Bravo. Ah, look at them up there with their little blue lights. Which isn't there anymore, but that's okay. I saw it a minute ago. I tell you, this, uh, I love the, the, look at the aurora and the full moon. Sorry, I don't mean to harp on it, but it really is. Oh, it's almost daytime again. But it really is quite beautiful. Now, do I have, yes, I do. Uh, come to me, my elevator. Come to me. There we go. Good elevator. Do, 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 All right, let's see. Uh, burn, burn, burn. Burn, burn, burn. And then we're going to... Um, right, we're not going to do the third here. We're going to add you to this little pile here. And we're going to need more than just the 20 to do this test. So, you know... It'll be, uh, oh, wash my hands, right? Uh, good hygiene, it's very important. And also, before we, uh, here, let's go in the base so that we don't get shot by a fisherman and pop up there. Yep, there's rogues right here. Oh, look, they're fighting. Look, they're shooting. Can I hear them? No. Man, they just to, they must just be a little bit too far away. So we got rogues up here. That's kind of interesting and good to know. Uh, I know I didn't dive the local lake, but as you may have noticed, we had time issues. Now, there's usually rogues in the valley somewhere. And the rogues in the valley, they, their wheels go round and round, but I don't see... I don't know what that is, but there's, that's not a rogue camp. Why am I not seeing any rogue fires? This is, uh... Is it just too bright now? No, I can see that one. I'm just not seeing them, I think. How many rogues do we see over here? None. I need to open up the new area a little bit more than I have. I haven't opened it up near enough. 
All right, well, we're, we're going to be getting a revenge attack soon. Um, before we... Here, let's um, take care of a bit of business. Uh, and we can also grab you, you... Oh. Okay. Uh, here. You go back in there, and then I'll grab you. And what we'll do is... Um, we're going to actually light this fire up, too. Um, oh, we, we're still trying to get you to burn... Uh, and we can... What? Okay, there we go. And then... Oh, the berry! You know what? We can eat the berry. Okay. You're burning, but you haven't managed to burn yet. And then we can do this. We need to get ash happening. So, uh, light that up. There we go. We can put away a few things. Like, uh, you, you, and, uh, you, and you, and you. And you. 62. Not bad. And we got 21 full boards as well. That's kind of nice. Get more iron. Excellent. How's the power situation? Reasonable. I think we're in, uh, we're starting to, everything's starting to come together. And you go there, you go there, and you go there. No casings, though. It's odd. Usually if you, you know, when you get gunpowder, you also get case. You know what? You're probably burnt by now. Okay. Now we can do... And you're burning. Okay. Excellent. Look at that. Nice. All right. Plants. Let's get you sorted. Do, do, are you ready? Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. All right. Fine. But we're going to take care of this first. 99. Good enough. And you and you... And then one, two, three. Yeah, that was me. I did that. I screwed up. Okay. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Good. And boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Nice. Okay. So where are we going to get the revenge attack? That is the question of the day. And I am very curious about that one. All right. How are you doing? Not yet? How about you? No? Okay. Uh, let's eat. How about we'll have one of you? Oh, nice. We do actually need to cook some food for ourselves. But I think, yeah, that'll be good enough for now. And then water... Uh, well, we could have a carrot, and then we can do... Uh... You know, wood stoves, you're sounding awful weird and tinny right now. Still not... Nope. Okay. And the animals, these guys should be down around 70%. Oh, no, 80. Okay, pretty good. All right, my timing was a little... Oh, right, we left it a little later than normal, didn't we? Wasn't first thing in the morning. But, um... You see what I mean? Like, it takes a few days for them to go down. It's one of the reasons why I put them into two separate... Uh, each one of them is in one of their... Like, they're in their own uh, animal housing with uh, free range enabled. Right there. And uh, essentially what it means is that they can go for a day or two or three or whatever uh, between me having to feed them. But the downside of that is... If you don't do it every day, then, then you start losing track of whether you didn't do it for one day, two days, or three days. And that's when things get a bit kind of dicey. So, right? If you make it a daily routine, then you're less likely to lose track of that kind of thing. All right. Seriously, how long does it take to burn? Okay, good. Good job. You burned. Excellent. All right. Uh, yeah. So we're going to get an attack. I wonder. Oh, right. Plants. Oh, what the hey. Let's do that. If we're super lucky, they're going to come. They're going to come down from over there. They're going to come through here probably. And they're going to shoot up that side of the base. But if we're super lucky, I'll be down here looking at these plants and they're going to shoot me in the side of the head. Ah, uh, wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's hard to say. They might actually shoot the base first. 
I don't know what they would do. There's the, they well, is that true? Like I was gonna say that sometimes the, the hunters don't see you when you're standing on your own platforms, but I don't think that's true. The animals don't. Like if a wild animal, if there was a wolf right there and you're standing on your own platform and stuff, they kinda don't see you until you kinda step off if you step into the water. That kind of is like this weird middle ground and then they start to see you. It's kind of strange. Should we just do more cotton? As we still have 20 cotton seeds and we are by no means... No. Oh. Well, let's leave eight cotton seeds for a full bed. Actually, no, you can't, you can't extract cotton seeds. So no, let's just plant them all. And there's, there's no reason to keep cotton seeds is what I'm saying. So with, with uh, the tomato seeds and stuff like that, there's a reason to keep them. Because if you ever run out of t tomatoes completely, you can always just plant a full bed. And then you just take half of the seeds from the product and then, you know, and you go from there. And it just, it's like a kickstart. But with, the, with cotton, you can't extract cotton, right? There's no extraction. So you might as well just use them all up. There's no reason. No reason not to. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, that's what I want to see. Overflowing cotton. Nice. All right. Uh, have a nice even 20 of you. Arrows are doing good. We got plenty of S uh, SVT ammo. Um, oh, here we go. Um, 50? Is that, a, is that a, a divisible by 7? No. Do we even have 7 bullets in our gun right now? No. Now we do. Oh, man, I'm... All over the place. Look at this. I'm going to reload you, too. But is that enough? We could have here. I'll tell you what. Just to be... There we go. Ah. Nice. All right. We are expecting revenge. When and where it's going to happen is the question of the day. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to deal with that at some point. I'm not sure when it'll be. Also, we have to continue to gather more... Um, more fat. Uh, I will, in the next one, I will try to remember. Oh, hey, look at you. No fishing. Downside to this is I have to go get his bag. <laughs> and we're waiting for an imminent attack. This is not necessarily... And we've got a bear! Oh, okay, this is this whole thing. I, I did see you, but I didn't register. Oh, this whole thing is kind of dangerous and silly. All right, all right, let's do this. The bear is important, though. Our biofuel experiment demands materials. Two shells? Yep, good. <laughs> I believe that bear was trying to fly away. <laughs> Good job, bear. Unfortunately, you don't have wings. All right, let's uh, let's get back to the base. <laughs> oh my goodness, is that a moose? Okay, don't get distracted on it. Don't get distracted by the moose and its glorious moose flesh. But you will get just. Oh my goodness, what is going on with these crates? All right, all right, all right. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go upstairs. Do, 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 do. Oh, I screwed up the song. Oh, oh, that was silly. All right, so we are expecting an attack. Um, we don't know when it's going to be, so that is the plan for tomorrow. Um, monitoring our, our situation. Uh, we've also probably got some materials and things we can do around the base. I, 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 you know, we've been away from the base kind of for a little while, and I should probably take a look at what we've got and iron-wise and all that other stuff, maybe make a few things uh, and go from there. So thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.